This is how it sucks. Two races left in the season. Two very unique tracks. Tonight on NASCAR Thunder 2004, we welcome you to Tiburon Super Speedway in Orlando, Florida. Three miles with turns spanked steeper than Daytona and Talladega. No restrictor plates, cars driving 230 miles an hour down the corners and never lifting. I start last. My ch other close championship rival, Jeff Gordon, starts on the pole. Of course, every time you seem to qualify on this track on anything that's other than rookie, you start last. Let's get this started. Two races left. There's been a lot of wild racing this season. What are we going to see tonight at Tiburon? Tonight at Tiburon International Super Speed Speedway in Orlando, Florida. We got two beautiful alternate paint schemes on the front row. Tony Stewart, who is returning, returned a few weeks ago at Richmond in his Snoopy car. Jeff Gordon in his 2002 Bugs Bunny Looney Tunes race car. As usual, I will show the top 10. Here we go. 16 laps here at Tiburon. Jeff Gordon's on the pole. Green flag is out here at Tiburon. Oh, what the fuck? Prick. Yeah, hit me again and make your ass lose the draft, Ashton Lewis. Speeds of 210 plus miles an hour diving off into these steep corners. And they never lift. Unless they have to get onto pit road. Lap one is put on the board. Tony Stewart. I can't tell if it's either Tony Stewart or Jeff Gordon leading. Because they can't really see that far ahead in the pack because Aston Lewis fucked us over. Because he's a dumbass. It seems like we might be catching these cars a little bit as we go off into these corners, but they seem to pull away coming out of the straightaways. 
The draft here is the great equalizer, just like Daytona and Talladega. Except here, you got no restrictor plates slowing these cars down. So you get cars flying into these corners. <clears throat> 40 second after lap 3. This is the first time I have ran a race here at Tiburon with fuel. Without, with, on, with fuel, entire use on. So, should be interesting. Make our way through turns three and four. Let's go on board a little bit. Wow, the leader's running away with this thing. Seven seconds on the leader. Is that... That's Kevin LePage up ahead. Oh, car blowing the motor. It's Mark Martin. Kevin Grubb peeling off the pit road. Hermie Sadler also peeling off the pit road. We're up to 24th at, at the end of lap 5. We're going to be pitting next time by. Unless we get a caution. Not this time by. Next time by. Let's try to build up our alliance here with Christian Fittipaldi. In the 43 car. Make our way through turns three and four. Jimmy Johnson currently leads the Tiburon 500. By the way, just thought y'all should know. And it took three miles for Mark Martin to get all the way around to pit road. Getting out of that mosh pit. Whoa! Oh, man. Apron driving. Trying to juke drivers and shit. Juke these guys out of the way, y'all. You know what? This pit stop, I'm going to gamble. Let's face, let's face it. It never hurts to gamble in these situations. Because at the same time, you got a huge ass points lead. What are you going to do if you take tires? Let's take fuel. Ten, ten seconds stop, boys. Let's gamble. Here we go. Good clean stop. Now you just need to hope for a caution. Because I don't want to finish 25th. And the caution is out. Just like that. Trouble. Now I got to block Jimmy Johnson. Crap. Losing the lap here, bud. Need to get the drop. Got to block Harvick. Hate to do it. So we make our way back to the caution flag here. Here at Tiburon. First First one of the night. And let's give the ball a good smack. Tap that ass. Jeff Burton just broke loose. In front of the pack. 
Can't tell if he got hit or not. Right here. Car just snaps in front of him. And it looked like everyone got by. Oh, Robbie Gordon. Robbie Gordon hit him a ton. Here we go. Green flag back into the air. Seven laps to go here at Tiburon. Oh, shit. Yellow's... And we're a lot down. Fuck. Six laps to go here at Tiburon. Jimmy Johnson is your leader. Caution's out again. Debris? Looks like a debris caution. Could it be from Burton or Robbie Gordon? I'm not sure. But we're going to be racing our way back to the caution here at Tiburon. This could be crazy. Looked like debris off of the 32. We're going to have to get a better angle here. Uh, yeah, it's off 32. Don't pit. Here we go. Green flags into the air. When we get to the line, there will be two laps of racing left. Never mind, this is the last lap here at Tiburon. Whoa. Just got to cover all the lines here. I'm not finishing, not getting any more cars, any more cars get by me. Because I got to keep banging if I have to. Through turns three and four for the final time. A car is about to win the Tiburon 500. Read while I try to fight off Jeff Green and Casey Mears for 25th. Looks like I'm about to get it. Could I get 24th if I get enough of a... No, I do not. 25th. Is the end result at the end of tonight's Tiburon 500? Tony Stewart is your winner. Ashton Lewis brake checks me for no fucking reason. Plus 38 for Christian Fittipaldi, minus 60 for Dale Jr., minus 60 for Jerry Nadeau, and minus 58 for Matt Kenza. So the guys that were involved in that crash, Robbie Gordon, Jeff Burton, and Dale Jarrett, were the only other drivers that fell out of the, act, the event, and Mark Martin fell out at lap 4. So, Tony Stewart won tonight's race at Tiburon by leading the last lap. Kevin Harvick finished second, Dale Earnhardt Jr. third, Michael Walter fourth, Jeff Gordon fifth, Sterling, Jimmy Johnson fifth, sorry, <laughs> not Jeff Gordon, Sterling Marlin sixth, Bill Elliott seventh, Ricky Rudd eighth, Johnny Benson ninth, and Jeff Gordon, the pole sitter, and my closest championship rival, finishes tenth. I finished a disappointing 25th. It all comes down to one race after this one. We go back in time. Consider this the equivalent to a NASCAR throwback weekend at Darlington. A place where NASCAR began.
for the points. Gordon cut in my lead pretty good after Tiburon. Driver stats, driver respect. Pissed off a lot of drivers. Just, I pissed off a lot of drivers this season. I should say that. You guessed it. One race, one final chance race this season. The Daytona Beach 500. The hype around this race will be equivalent to a, to a NASCAR throwback race at Darlington. This is where Daytona began. Who will be sun-kissed in the sand? Who will be soaking up the sun's rays at the end of the, se end of the season and the end of this race? And who will be sun-kissed? You can find out next week here on NASCAR Thunder 2004. We'll see you then.